All right, hey, it's uh, May 23rd, bringing you a weekly Lake of the Ozarks fishing report. Uh, boy, things are really turning on really good down here at the lake. You know, fish are really starting to bite good. Um, I'll give you the lake conditions and everything here real quick. Uh, lake level is 658.85, I believe it is. So that's right about a foot below summer pool, which it'll, it'll stay here for a while. Um, they'll leave a little bit of room to play in here. You know, in case we do get a lot of rain, we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow and Wednesday, I believe. Quite a bit of rain. Um, you know, the, uh, let's see, the, the water color, the water color remains to be pretty stained up. Um, the graboise is a little clear, you know, a little bit of a green tint. Everything else still has a pretty dirty tint to it. Um, but it is kind of clearing off, settling slightly uh there's a lot of current being brought uh you know through the lake for the last couple couple of weeks at least uh if not three weeks about oh i don't know 35 36 000 cubic foot consistently uh running through bagno dam uh as they bring truman down and they basically are running it through the ozarks right now the level hasn't really fluctuated much uh you know because they're letting equal amounts um uh, in through Truman and out through Bagno. So, but it has put a lot of current um, or maintained a lot of current out on the on the main lake. So, you know what that's doing? That's getting a lot of these post spawn fish. You know, they're high tailing it out towards the points, um, and and they're trying to get out to them ledges. That water temp though is still mid to upper 60s. So, usually once that water temp gets up there in the 70s low to mid 70s they, they really group up a lot more out there um the last couple of days uh, let's see we went we went to bow shoals for a few days uh last week for uh, ozark mountain uh tournament uh, and we got back uh saturday and then uh, we fished sunday monday or saturday monday saturday sunday monday so uh anyways uh got a pretty good uh idea what's going on uh the last couple of days here um, and basically that's everything <laughs> Whatever you want to throw right now you can catch fish on um, this is a pile of baits just from today um, My niece come down and spent a few days and, and we've been out really yanking on them uh, She went out with Denise yesterday and they they caught them real good And then we did the same again today and we just caught them on on several different baits doing several different things the shaky head you know like just the uh, um, Magnum zoom shaky head on the quarter ounce crack gator shaky pro head that's probably the number one bait if you just want to pick one bait and throw it you know um, and as far as the colors it doesn't matter green pumpkin something you can see these you know there's uh these these are all baits from today uh, man we just went through and we caught a bunch of fish and several good solid fish too I don't think we had anything four pounds probably maybe one pushing four but everything was you know about three pound range uh the keepers any three three and a half pounders um and but several of them and then just who knows how many uh you know 14 and a half to 15 and a half fish a lot of those but uh the shaky head has been really producing well like i said the quarter ounce crack gator shaky pro head with either mag finesse or a brush hog um, this one's black and green uh, green pumpkin red flake um, just solid green pumpkin it, it's really not mattering a whole lot you know we're throwing brush hog something a little bulkier um, and then just the mag finesse worm um, on, on the shaky head and those you know anywhere from man you can go to back to spawning pockets and catch a few um, but they're coming out of them spawning pockets and, and headed out towards main lake. So if you get a spawning pocket, say it might be, you know, just inside a creek um, or just inside a cove uh, between that spawning pocket, the point of the spawning pocket, all the way out to main lake. We caught them in that whole whole stretch there and about equal amount. Um, main lake's getting there. It's still a little slow, uh, but we did catch a few out there today. But most of them were, like I said, kind of still coming out um you know about i don't know three to six foot of water and most of them are tucked behind them docks you know between the catwalk and the dock that corner just flip something in there 
I'm, I'm sure you can flip a jig in there. We flipped a brush hog on a gator lock jig head. That works real good. Um, you know, but just flip something back in there, let it go to the bottom, sit there, and bounce it once or twice. And usually they're grabbing it on the way down, or once you, once you move it a couple of times, they're picking up, and they'll swim off with it. And there's a lot of fish congregated in the same stretch. I'm sure there's still a couple, few more coming in to spawn, um, and I'm probably some still spawning but a lot of them are post spawn moving out so they're all crisscrossing they're all in the same area you know uh pre-spawn banks post spawn banks they're the same they're exactly the same so those fish are going back and forth you can see a couple swim baits up here this one's totally tore up um this, these are just little four inch kitex uh we're throwing them on the gator lock the 716 gator lock you know like i told you um Here's, here's one she was actually thrown here. You see that the Gator Lock uh, 716 You know with that keeper system works real well on those uh, soft tie techs, but that's a four inch and um, we We're basically throwing this on secondary points um, And then some main lake points. It seemed like these fish were in I don't know six to twelve foot of water just throwing it right up kind of about you know I don't know, eight, ten foot off the bat, bank, let it sink down and just start steady retrie retrieving it back. Um, caught a couple of nice ones on that. Uh, I was throwing a bigger zoom uh, swimmer, easy swimmer. Um, and it, that's just a kind of a pearl black. I am putting a chartreuse stripe down the side with my um, die, my market dye pen. Just just a chartreuse side uh, or even a little bit on the tail. Seems Seems to help a little bit. I don't know. Hers didn't have any on it. Um, she probably caught just as many. So, I don't know. I, I just like the chartreuse in that dirty water. Throwing that. Uh, this one was on 15 pound test on a 7 to 1 gear ratio on a Falcon 7 foot rod. Um, I was throwing that bigger one. The, the bigger uh, swim bait on a 3 quarter ounce Cracker Gator Reaction Jig. I just peel that uh, weed guard out, I put the bait on there, and then I, I'll super glue it up tight. Um, you can go a couple times without super glue, but after you catch a couple fish, them hollow body baits will, will want to slip down. So just a little dab of super glue, stick it up there, and you're good to go. I was throwing it on uh, on an 8 to 1 uh, loose reel with this is a 7 foot 2 Amistad Falcon rod, good stout rod with 17 pound fluorocarbon on it so um you, you know you can you can get away with a heavier line you know on swim baits and stuff you can throw the heavier line they're not they're not the line doesn't play a factor in it at all um as far as i'm seeing it or or the bait sinking or what have you when throwing them them heavier weights like that um you know you just want uh you, you want a rod that you can throw a bigger swim bait on and when when you do get a bite that you can really set the hook in them. Uh, a lot of times they'll nip at it. Most of the bites are, you know, the, a couple nips and then they just hammer it um, or it really loads up on you. But that's a, it's a fun bite. Um, it's just starting. So just just jump around on points. Just jump points. You know, secondary points, uh, main lake points. Um, if you know where some ledges are, look at your maps. You know, the Garmin's, um, I run 1242s and 1243s. Uh, the mapping system on Garmin is is great. It shows these ledges. I don't care where you at. We were just at Bow Shoals, and uh, you know we were we we're concentrating on on flat uh, flooded bushes down there, and we were just looking at the maps. You know um, everything's color co coded on on my map, and, uh, and I don't think it matters what brand you have when it comes to color coding. You can go into layers and and uh, highlight different depths onto your map so you know you know zero to five five to you know 15 15 to 20 at least that's kind of how i have mine that way if i'm looking for flats i can just look for you know the the red color um and where they come way out and i know it's a good flat point i'll go do that same thing with ledges you know you can mark um uh you know say 20 foot uh make it whatever green and then just look at the green ledges out there uh, you know, on your mapping system 
and just and just run those those uh, those green lines once you have your map loaded up with the highlighted colors. So at least that's how I have mine, um, and it seems to work really well. Um, you know the um, top water bite. The top water is getting there. I mean, any day it should really fire up really good. I was through. Uh, I was just throwing a three quarter crocodile today. The head knocker, black gold. Um, I'm th throwing this on braid. I'm throwing it over the cables, on the catwalks. Uh, same place you're trying to get the plastics or the jigs, uh, but I'm trying to throw a buzz bait in there. Um, I caught a couple on it, probably one or two keepers, um, and a few shorts. But it, it wasn't um, it wasn't a big deal today. They were definitely on the bottom today, but I expect this top water to be any day. Uh, you know and then and then once it starts it's going to be really good for a cu couple couple weeks exact same uh locations uh rock it's kind of a rock mixture some pea gravel it seems like most of these fish are off of the pea gravel um and they're, they're kind of a, a rockster mix ledge banks seem to be the best the very best you know when i say ledgy it's a hard solid bottom not a whole lot of rocks mixed in there it's just kind of comes out and steps and for whatever reason, they really get on those ledges uh, on post-spawn. When I say ledges, I mean the ledges coming off the bank, not necessarily the old river channel ledges. So just kind of look for those banks. Those are from one end to the lake to the other. Um, chug bug. I'm catching a few on chug bug. Same deal. First day in the morning, throw your chug bug right up to the bank and pop it off. If you got some more, say, softball-sized rocks, a little bigger rocks, um, you've got a, we've got some bluegill up in there spawning. There's a little bit of a shad spawn going, but first thing in the morning, them fish are right up on the bank, and you throw like a chug bug right up on the bank, and work it out there pretty fast. Um, every once in a while, stop it, let it sit. Uh, you're going to get bites on that. That's a lot of, a lot of numbers. Uh, same deal. The chug bug and spook, in the next couple few days, are going to be dynamite fish to catch uh, numbers and big ones. Uh, more so like today you can see it's kind of cloudy overcast um, those are the type of days you want or a windy day um, just kind of get out of the wind with this top water and and you'll catch plenty fish um, the fluke like the zoom fluke is starting to catch some off of them big docks some wave breaks um, those are little little fish good for numbers you know but um man that's a uh, Yo, know, that's that's what we've done the last few days here um, and then prior to leaving uh, we were doing the same thing except for the, a week difference has made a huge huge amount of difference in numbers and size there's some really good fish being caught right now um, I don't know we probably I don't know how many keepers we had the last couple days but you know 15 to 17 pounds uh, for best five uh, last couple of days um, and that's only going to get better for the next two or three weeks, like I said. So if you're coming down, uh, I know this, this weekend's the Memorial Day. It's going to be busy down here. I expect it to really, uh, this to be our, our first big busy weekend. We haven't been overly busy down here uh, just yet. I know gas prices probably cutting into that. So maybe everyone's saving it for certain holidays or certain events. But I know this weekend, um, it, it's going to be busy down here. Um, the weather forecast looks really good. So if you're going, coming down to go fishing, just get out there early, 6, 6 to 10, 6 to 11. Um, and then depending on the weather or how busy it gets, maybe get off the water with uh, your fishing boats and then go spend time with family, barbecue, relax, whatever. You know, that's what the holidays are for. Um, and just stay safe. You know, wear your life jackets. Uh, be really safe on the on the roads, especially down here. You know, the roads don't have a lot of shoulders, um, so just pay attention. There's a lot of deer still running around, um, and on the weekends we tend to get people down here that don't necessarily know where they're headed or the you know the di right directions, or whatever. And some of these turns sneak up on you, so just just be aware. If you come down, just slow it down. You'll get there. Slow down. Come down and have a good time and go back to your families and friends you know so uh crappie crappies uh crappie slowed a little bit i did notice today that they're starting to really bunch up 
tight and big schools underneath like main lake docks um, or some of these bigger docks uh, with the big swim platforms and they're, they're going to get out there for the summer and they're going to stick around um, have started catching some trolling like that bandit crankbait that 300 series just start trolling the, uh, the if you're not getting bit or you don't want to shoot under these docks or deal with docks just get you a bandit crankbait and start trolling troll the mouth of the creeks um, you know like kind of come down say a bluff and go inside the creek a little bit and then come back and go to the other side and come back around and a lot of them are bunched up there uh, they'll be bunched up on these bluffs um, and when you run into a school you can just make a middle mark uh, on the bank what's going on there and you can go back and forth and catch plenty we catch a few white bass like that um, the flatheads are moving up we're catching some flatheads on these shaky heads and um, you know I'm talking I don't know, a couple three pounders, but we've caught some of them 14 to 16 pounders, you know, which is which is a lot of fun to catch. Um, man, you know, uh, y'all, you know, I always want to say a little bit about my 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 gear, my equipment, and everything, because it's uh, you know, living down here at the Ozarks, guiding, uh, still doing some tournament fishing. You got to have the the equipment that's going to stay together. And it's going to be dependable. We can't, you know, you can't afford to be broke down or having issues with anything. So, you know, these um, Deca batteries from Wholesale Batteries uh, down there at Bull Shoals, the wind was was howling both days, and I was standing on the trolling motor all day long, and they 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 held up perfectly both days, not an issue. I'm watching my uh, voltage or my Garmin's. You know, and they, they never dropped below, below uh, right at 12 volts. Nine, uh, 11.9, I think, was the lowest at the end of the day. So that tells you right there, they're, they're holding up really good. I run the Group 31 Decas is what I'm running. Um, I've got four of them in this boat. Um, the live wells ran all day. You know, um, the lights, everything else. So uh, no issues at all with them. Um, you know, today we run out, we went out, we thought it was going to be a little warmer. We got out there. Good thing I still had my, my AFCO Reapers in here because we both snatched one out of, the, out of the storage box here and put them back on uh, just to stay warm out there today. I don't know, it was 50, mid-50s or something this morning. Pretty cool, but um, I'm wanting to put sun shirts on, leave them on, but I got to leave them sweatshirts in here, them, them Reapers, for a little while longer. But... Uh, this is, uh, I'll say, the third week, full week in the in the Vexus VX20. Um, I, I just can't tell you. I am extremely impressed. Um, I, I know I said before, leaving, you know, leaving Ranger after 23 years, uh, multiple boats, uh, and getting out of that into a a, a different brand boat, uh, the Vexus. It was a, it was a big decision. And I am extremely confident that I made the right decision now. Um, it is, uh, it's everything, this boat, all the hype, and everything it's supposed to be. The quality is, is through this boat and from one end to the other. The air ride seats is, is what it's all about. Um, you know, it's been rough, been pretty windy. Um, starting to get some big boats out there. And, uh, man, I can feel it. Uh, the ease in my back. There's no more uh, stress at the end of the day. Uh, the fatigue that you know I was feeling, uh, some of the hard hits, you know, that you just get with the with the boats um, that don't have the air ride seats. So these the the seats, the ride is incredible. I I encourage anybody, if you see me at the boat ramp, you see me on the way in, you see me out on water, and you want to see this, come over and jump in these seats. And, and take a look at the seats and take a look at the layout of this boat. Um, the thought process that went in this um, is, is highly visible when you look at it. The live well system, it's got the system where uh, you got the two, two lids that close down and they're sealed. They got a rubber seal. It latches. You can feel it all the way up to the top. You can feel the, the live wells all the way up to the brim. There's no room for slosh. There's no room for them fish to to be jolting around, bouncing around, no need for the noodles on top. Um, you know, I've had, I don't know, three, four different limits uh, 
in the live well, no issues at all. Plenty of live, plenty, uh, you know, they're deep, they're wide, uh, they're light, they're lit. They've got oxygenators standard. Uh, the, the live well system is, is an awesome system. I, I can already tell that. You know, um, the storage, storage everywhere. Um, the big deck, um, the deep um, passenger area. It's just uh, the light, the net storage behind the seat. Uh, I, I can go on and on. Uh, I still got to do a detailed video. And I want to walk around this. Um, but I want to get totally familiar with everything on this boat. So I don't want to just 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 talk on a video you know I just want to make sure um, everything is 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 what it's supposed to be and I and I know everything to tell you to to give you good accurate description so you know the guys at Sport World Boat Center continue to take care of us um, you know day in and day out for whatever it is we need um, so if you're down here at the lake especially this weekend or any weekend if you're in the market for a boat Go see uh, Gary and the boys over at Sport World Boat Center right there by Hurricane Deck Bridge. Um, they'll take care of you. They'll repair you. They'll, uh, they'll show you a new boat. Uh, they've got used boats. Um, and they've pretty much got knowledge of anything that's going on down there. So, uh, man, that, that's about all I got to for you this week. Um, I'm going to keep up on this. But if uh, Denise and I can help you uh, get on some fish or show you what's going on right now, um, I'm, I'm pretty... You know, right now, this this is the best time to fish the Lake of the Ozarks, as far as I'm concerned, for weather going to be pretty nice. Uh, numbers of fish and size of fish and different things you can do. You can you can go to backs. You can go to main lake points. Uh, a variety of baits. Um, it's a good time to learn a lot of different things. It's a good time to have a good time. Come down here and fish. So this next, uh, from the next couple weeks of May, and all June is going to be really good. It, it just is every year. Truman's up. We're going to get more rain. That'll keep Truman up. That means they're going to run current through this lake for the next at least four to six weeks. And that'll keep them fish out there and it'll keep them feeding. They're all almost done spawning and they come off the spawn hungry. And that's where they're at right now. And they are eating. So give either one, Denise or myself, um, you know, call 573 204-9005 for me 314-226-3099 for Denise um, she continues to do a, a, a lot of trips a lot of new fishermen a lot of intermediate fishermen um, a lot of ladies wanting to learn to fish and, and be more independent uh, either fishing by themselves or fishing with their husbands, boyfriends friends, whatever um you know, it's, it's a good way for them just to get their their independence, for lack of any other word. Uh, you know, tying their own knots, uh, dealing with the rods, the reels, the baits, what baits to use, how to work it, uh, setting up their tackle bag. Everything that's involved in, you know, your own, your own uh, tackle and process when you're out there fishing. So, uh, if either one of us can help you, please give us a call. We'd love to help you. Uh, group trips we're doing we've done several group trips we've got several uh, planned so if you have a business or a company and you're looking for something, for something fun for uh you know a group of people uh camaraderie or, or just the, the teamwork um whatever you want to call it it uh it's, it's a great uh, a great event to do uh bring them all down here and we you know we get several other guides together we go out everyone has a good time and obviously there's a there's a competition involved we have little tournaments um you know amongst the the companies and it's it, it's always a, a lot of fun uh it's, you know people come down and they're like ah oh, well i'm just here for the fun and about an hour in they're serious they're calling they're texting friends uh, other co-workers and and it's it's a lot of fun to see the weigh-ins and uh the bragging rights that come out of these little tournaments so like i said if we can ever help you with anything uh, give us a call. Uh, I know I talked to the Branding Iron down here. They're ready for the weekend. They're stocked up with food. They're stocked up with beer. And they, they're stocked up with employees. So they're going to take care of you. Um, the Branding Iron is just right there by uh, Hurricane Deck Bridge. Um, you know, I, I say some of the same things. Uh, CG's, we've ate there the last couple mornings for breakfast. 
Uh, that's the gas station right there above Hurricane Deck Bridge. Easy in and out with boats. Uh, that's a big deal. There's plenty of room to turn around. They got uh, as good as gas prices as anyone else. And they've got probably the best breakfast um, here at the lake for the money. So, uh, you know, and they also serve uh, Godfather's Pizzas in the, in the evening. So, that's on the west side over here. We've got several other uh, restaurants. I heard the uh, Bourbon Barrel is back open. Uh, brother, brother and sister-in-law went there the other night, said it was fantastic. Uh, the owner was super nice. Uh, the service was great. I haven't personally been there yet this year, so uh, that's on our list. Uh, the Tavern at Trails Inn, it's a great restaurant uh, right there. Uh, you've got Vows, you've got Benny's, you've got Taboo, uh, uh, Gourmet Burgers up there in Lori. Uh, Fat Sal's is a pizza sub sandwich up there in Lori. Excellent food. Uh, you know, we got grocery stores on this side. You got uh, G2M, which is now town and country. And you got save a lot uh, up there in Lori. Um, personally, that's where we go. Uh, don't necessarily patronize the others, uh, but uh, you know, just uh, there, there's plenty on this on this west side. You don't have to go to the, to the other side, but if you do, plenty of restaurants, things over there. Your 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 high end, uh, really nice restaurants over there. Um, over there on Lake Ozark, uh, business Lake Ozark, you got. Bentley's, Baxter's, JB's, uh, uh, I forget the other pizza place over there, J, J Twigs, I think it is, um, over there, uh, with the barbecue place over there, um, Half Sauce, and then the other one, uh, can't remember it right now, uh, Casablanca, no, yeah, Casablanca over on the Strip is excellent for pizza, um, Dang it. Michael Carter could tell you because that's his favorite place he goes over there. I, I can't, it's just slipped my mind. Wobbly Boots. Wobbly Boots over there. Uh, the smoke, smoke meats, uh, excellent service, food over there. So, uh, man, get down here to the Ozarks. Uh, come visit us. Come visit this place. A lot of people are moving here. Uh, they're raising their family here, and there's a reason why. So, uh, like I said, until, until next week, uh, come down this weekend. Be safe out there. Take your time. Uh, be courteous to everyone at the ramps. If you can help someone, I'm gonna say this too. If you can help someone at the ramp, help them out. Don't 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 get all bent out of shape, yelling at no one, wanting to rush them. If you see uh, people that need help, I don't care if they need help backing down, need help uh, tying their boat up, holding their boat. Just you know, people get worked up, people get nervous. Uh, things happen on the ramp. There's no reason for it. Uh, just just help each other out. So um, I'll, I'll cut it off at that. But uh, and, until next time, folks, uh, I appreciate you tuning in. And if we can help you, give us a call. We'll see you.